My name's Hazard Zala and I'm the senior producer on Crisis 2 and I look after the multiplayer side of things. Um, so we're really sort of like excited today to um, produce, uh, well to show people uh, multiplayer for the first time here at Gamescon and um, we're the team who um, are at Crytek UK and uh, we're the team that were behind the uh, Town Splitters um, um, series or franchise and so as you can imagine we've got vast experience uh, on creating multiplayer and console games. Uh, we've got over 70 um, staff who are working dedicated just on the multiplayer side of Crisis 2. So as you can imagine, this is no small offering. This is a um, fully fledged, fully scoped um, um, multiplayer offering that will go toe to toe with the top um, uh, shooters out there. We're only presenting two of the game modes at the moment, so uh, we're talking to you about Team Instant Action, which is uh, Team Deathmatch, and uh, also we've been previewing here at Gamescon uh, Crash Site. And Crash Site's a game mode whereby you have these alien ships that fly through the level, they drop um, these pods off periodically creating these crash sites. Um, you gain points by securing the crash site. The more time you spend at the crash site, the more points you accrue for you and your team. I mean, this is quite a um, sort of like integral aspect of the multiplayer is having a class system. This means that when you first, the classes dictate actually sort of like uh, your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, and these all important suit modules that you have selected. This means that you're able to really sort of like choose a class. Uh, that really kind of augments the style and play you want to and it always means that when you spawn in you have those weapons and that setup available to you you'll be able to pick up other game uh, weapons when you play the game but it always means you have a fluid understanding of what you're going to be doing as soon as you spawn in Crisis 2, as you probably know, is set in Manhattan. And one of the things about um, the Crisis 2 multiplayer is uh, what really differentiates this multiplayer from any other multiplayer is the nanosuit and the nanosuit abilities. And it's how you start to use those nanosuit abilities within the um, uh, New York setting as well that makes this game very special. So the New York setting, as well as being very um, visual and distinct, um, has this great topology in architecture which allows you to really exploit the verticality in the levels and with the nano suit you're, and its abilities you're able to what we coin the, this idea of parkour and gun uh, play so you're basically to, able to do parkour with guns and you're able to really sort of like use the power abilities of the nano suit and the ledge grabs to really fluidly move over the levels and it really exploit the verticality of the sandbox arena there's no real Real gameplay difference. The real um, difference here is kind of solid team differentiation. We have two models, one's for the Marines and one for the cells. I can't tell you too much about it at the moment because those details will emerge with the Crisis 2 narrative from single player. Yeah, so we've evolved the Nanosuit 2 um, so that we've streamlined the features. So rather than just powers, we're actually sort of like really forming these gameplay styles. And there's two main gameplay styles, this idea of of stealth and this idea of um, armor and um, you also have the ability to go tactical on top of that but default to you have your kind of power abilities that you had before but it's really kind of streamlining the whole experience to have two distinct gameplay styles we've got a very um, big progression system and as you progress through your XP you start to gain ranks as you gain ranks you're able to start to unlock things um, and not just being able to unlock attachments and weapons, you're able to start to unlock what we call suit modules. And these suit modules are modules that you uh, can add abilities to your nano suit, thereby really being able to customize your nano suit so that it plays the way you want it to do. And we've got over 60 of these modules that you can attach to your nano suit to really customize that experience. We've got over 140 of these dog tags, so every time someone's been killed, they leave behind their signature dog tag. You collect these and then you have the ability to start calling in kill streaks and kill uh, team perks. We'll be releasing on all platforms, including the PC, so PS3, Xbox 60, and PC, and we'll be releasing next March.